Hey, hey, welcome, welcome, self publishers. So, today I wanted to share my experience going through D2D Print. So, that's Drafted Digital's um, print beta service. And I've decided to use them as well as KDP to do my um, my paperback print copy. Um, so, let's uh, let's start. So, the first thing to do is obviously log into your D2D um, account. Um, this is what it looks like when you click on My Books and you select the book that you want to um, go. Um, create a print format for. If you click on my books, either you'll see this if you've got an ebook or you, you have the option to create a new book, an ebook or a, a print book. Um, so you can just start from there. And I'm going to show you each of these steps. Um, so let's just dive right in. So the first step is the print book details. And you'll see, I'll, I'll show you the shared metadata in a minute. Um, but essentially, you can insert your print release date, put your print book description. Um, I'll cover um, a bit more about tokens later on, but if you have any changes after it's published, um, as far as I understand, once it's published, you have to either buy a change token or they will give you one um, free every 90 days. Um, but that's that's something I'll cover later on um, in the video. So, so this is the uh, shared metadata section. Um, as you can see, there'll be a cover which they will import from the ebook if you set that up previously. Um, you can specify your language, your author, um, author names, publisher details, and then you search for your BISAC terms, uh, BISAC subjects. Um, so you enter that, and then it's really intuitive. You go straight on to your book description, um, and then if you have a different release date, feel free to put that on, and then in which case we'll go on to pre-order. Um, they've got this split payments, so if you've got collaborators or um, if you're doing an anthology, for example, you know, you can add details over here and you click save and continue. Um, over here, of course, I've already put my own ISBN. Um, so, you know, you, you have to put that if you want or they'll assign you one. Uh, more information on that later on. Um, but basically, if you want to use your own ISBN, you can. If you don't, they can provide one for you. So this is the next step, um, step two, what it should look like inside once you've uploaded your uh, your own um, interior file. So that's the contents of your book, okay? And once you upload that, you'll come to this page. Uh, sorry, when you're on this page, you'll, you'll have the option to upload it, I believe. And then you have the options that you can choose for your print book. In this case, you can even choose a template style that can assist you with that cream or white paper. I've chosen white, as you can see, I've chosen a six by nine. And they even show you the advanced editing um, offering that they have. So this is completely free. So if you haven't, for example, haven't formatted your own manuscript, you want to use D2D's um, built-in um, option, you can totally do that. All right, so once you've got all your interior files set up, let's click save and continue. Um, you go to step three where um, you can look at your cover, and this is where you upload your own cover, or you can create, I wouldn't say create one from scratch, but essentially they pull in the data from the ebook, um, and you can you know, play around with that. Now, I had a um, full spread cover made, so that's front spine and back, full spread um, created, and this is, you know, that's the one I uploaded. Um, if you don't have that, basically you can um, follow their steps. They, they show you what you, what you can choose um, for your cover, whether it's matte or glossy, what kind of text color, if you're creating your own back cover and all that, um, the um, text on the spine, and you can see the mock-up in the middle. Um, you can turn on the guides and crop the lines. So in this case, I've turned it on just so you can see, but basically they're showing you where the, um, where the bits you need to stay within, um, the boxes. Um, and you definitely want to stay within the boundaries, otherwise it may get cut off at the print press. Um, so once you have all that, you can play around, as I say, the spine text, the background color, your print cover description, back cover, you know, so you could actually semi, you know, maybe fully create the cover yourself um, in D2D's um, uh, in system. I haven't tried this because, I, as I say, I uploaded a full spread cover myself, um, but the option is there if you choose to do it. Um, so let's move on to the next bit. Just before you uh, publish, you know, approve, you need to set your price, of course, so they'll show you what it looks like. Um, I've grayed out quite a bit, but basically they show you a front cover, back cover, and how it looks like, you know, in a 3D mock-up kind of shape. 
they give you the estimated royalties depending on how much you put in on your print book price. After that, you gotta obviously select one of these three. I am the original creator, I have secured the rights, or this book, book is public domain. And you gotta confirm that you understand D to D's um, terms and conditions and also, you know, that if you need to change anything, basically you need to buy a token or you can get a free change every once every 90 days, so they actually specify later on. Um, I'll show you the knowledge base that you can go and check out more information on that. Um, but essentially you have to confirm one of these before they allow you to save and continue. So once you save and continue, all you have to do is approve your proof. So you can either do that by ordering a physical proof copy or, um, or approving the e-copy, um, either one's okay. And once you approve that, you click on submit, it goes through D2D, um, they do whatever they need to do and then it's off to the races. So just a thing a couple of things I want to share is um, The first thing is the D to D Knowledge base so draft a digital knowledge base and then if you click on the print then you will see um, a lot of information that you should definitely have a read of um, For example the print sizes the trim size they offer um, full bleed print proof, digital proof, which I was just referring to. You can get author copies if you want. They are offering um, purchases shipped to these countries. Anyway, have a read. They've also got a section for ISBNs, ISBNs, um, if you wanna have a read of that. Now, me personally, I used my own ISBN, so I got one of my own. Um, and what happens is, or what happened was, I um, used d to d print first, so I, I've, use my ISBN on D2D print and then I went over to KDP paperback to um, publish the same format um, and there's been no as far as I know there's been no kickbacks no issues touch wood um, so that's what I've done D2D print first and then when I went over to KDP I made sure expanded distribution was not checked in my case because um, D2D print had already um, propagated to KDP, the expanded distribution section was not even an option, so it was grayed out. I couldn't actually tick that box, but if it's not grayed out, make sure you do not tick that box um, if you want to um, use D to D print for your expanded distribution. Um, basically, you don't want to have any of the uh, um, duplicate content or anything like that. If you're in doubt, as I say, you know, I'm not an expert, but if you're in doubt, check, check with them D to D support. They are really, really responsive. They are outstanding. Um, so yes, that's um, that's my experience with D2D print and that's the uh, walkthrough. If you're interested in, in D2D print, feel free to go check them out. As far as I know, they do not have a waiting list. So if you don't see the option for D2D print, just contact support and um, ask them if, you know, politely, nicely and say, would you mind if I join a D2D print program? Um, yeah. I, I, I don't think, as far as I know, there's a wasting list, so feel free to go check that out. Um, cool. Um, this has been a longer video than I expected. Hopefully you found that useful. If you did, smash that thumbs up button, subscribe if you haven't, and I shall see you in the next video. Have a great day, everyone.